a very good evening to all the lovely listeners it's time for children's bedtime treasury with let emotion speak don't forget to like the video share the video and subscribe to my channel for more bedtime stories today's story is about the bee who wanted more stripes bertie the bee was a rather vain young bee every morning as soon as he woke up he would find a large dew drop in which to admire his reflection the thing that bertie liked best about himself was his stripes he thought stripes were the smartest flashiest fashion accessory any animal could have he just wished he had more stripes but he only had a couple still he thought they are very fine stripes then he had an idea what if he could get some more stripes he would be the stripiest bee around and then everyone else would admire him too i know what i'll do he said i'll ask some other very stripy animals how they got all their stripes and maybe i can copy them he passed off through the wood looking for striped animals to ask he flew across the fields and then the sea at last he reached a place where there seemed to be quite a few striped animals the first animal he approached looked like a striped horse hello horsey said bertie landing on the beast's nose i'm not a horse i'm a zebra and get off my nose said the zebra crossly i do beg your pardon said bertie i just wanted to ask you how you got all your stripes well said the zebra i used to be all brown then one day i came across a piano in the middle of the plain as i walked past the piano its black and white keys started to play a tune all by themselves then i looked down and found i had turned black and white too and if you believe that you'll believe anything and with that the zebra laughed and trotted off but he continued on his way now he could see a large striped cat hello puss said bertie landing on the creature's back i am not a cat i am a tiger and get off my back growled the tiger i am so sorry said bertie i just wanted to ask you how you got all your stripes well said the tiger i used to be all yellow then one day when i was a cub i was playing with a ball of black string and i got all tangled up in it and that's how i got my stripes and if you believe that you will believe anything and the tiger started to laugh as he stalked off but he continued on his way soon he could see a long striped worm slithering through the grass hello little worm called bertie landing on the worm's tail i'm not a worm i'm a snake and get off my tail hissed the snake oh dear i didn't mean to upset you said bertie i just wanted to ask how you got all your stripes well said the snake i used to be all brown then one day i was crossing a road just as the traffic lights were changing from red to green and when i reached the other side i found that i was stripped red and green from head to tail and if you believe that you will believe anything and the snake started to laugh as he slithered away but he continued on his way once more then he spotted a squirrel with a striped tail in a tree hello squirrel he said landing on the animal's paw i am not a squirrel i am a ring-tailed lemur and get off my paw said the ring-tailed lemur angrily i do apologize said bertie i just wanted to ask 
how you got all those stripes on your tail well said the ringtail lemur my tail used to be all white then one day i was playing hoopla with my friends i said they could use my tail as a target and so they threw all the rings on my tail but they got stuck and that's how i got a striped tail and if you believe that you'll believe anything and the ring tail lemur started to laugh as he scampered away well thought berty i'd better give it a go first he looked for a piano on the plane but to no avail there just wasn't a piano to be found then he looked for a ball of string but he couldn't find one of those either he did find a set of traffic lights and he passed backwards and forwards in front of them until he felt quite dizzy but he still had the same number of stripes finally he called out anyone fancy a game of hoopla but there was no reply it was night time and all the animals were asleep i'll just have to make my way home thought bertie sadly he flew all through the night and arrived home exhausted in the morning just then he met clarice the wise old bee clarice said bertie i really would like some more stripes but although i've asked lots of stripy animals how they got their stripes all they gave me were silly answers clarice looked at bertie rather sternly and said you only get the stripes you were born with bertie and besides do you know what you would be if you had more stripes you would be a wasp bertie looked horrified the last thing he wanted to be was a wasp wasps were always going around frightening and stinging everyone and no one liked them at all bertie thought for a few moments and then said perhaps having just a few stripes but being liked by others is better after all so kids how did you like the story it's one of my favorites so what did you learn from this story that you are special and unique in your own way you don't need to copy and paste anything from anyone discover yourself appreciate yourself and reinvent yourself do you know who invented the telephone it was alexander graham bell and do you know his mother and wife both were deaf amazing no he couldn't talk to them but still he invented the telephone don't forget to share this story with your friends teachers and your parents too see you tomorrow with another great bedtime story good night